every actor's dream is to be offered something as amazing as this without even an audition. I'm pinching myself forever. Alice? Alice? Thank God, can you hear me? Yeah. Are you okay? Daniel knows. Congrats to you both on the new film. It is fantastic. Uh, Cece, I'll start with you, but what initially led you to this project? You know what? And this is so annoying because I'm too lucky. Um, is that I had just come off of seven months of uh, shooting a show overseas, which was so stressful. It was the best thing I've ever done, obviously, but it was very, very hard. Um, and when I finished that, I came back and I just went, I need a break. I'm not doing anything. I'm not taking auditions. I'm just going to rest for a bit. So I got the audition. Um, uh, a close friend of mine was in the first one and he'd had a conversation with Rob about me. So Rob had a great impression um, and then I, I said no to the audition. I was like, I'm, I'm so sorry, I have to rest. And then they came back and said, what if we just offer it to you? And I was like, um, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, thank you. So, but you know, that's like every actor's dream is to be offered something as amazing as this without even an audition. I'm pinching myself forever. So that's how I... Uh, that's how I, it came to be. The whole cast is amazing. And one thing that I really love watching is that it is a female-led ensemble cast. Hell yeah. Yeah, Lucy, what was it like to, to kind of work in that environment? Oh my gosh, intimidating. <laughs> I feel like there was just so many incredible powerhouses. I really was sitting there going, why am I here? <laughs> what am I doing here? But also, like, I, I just felt so, so lucky because I just, um, I just was sneakily learning from... Mm, mm. Oh, um, I think we all were, <laughs> yes. definitely. So a lot of talent in one room and a we, lot of experience as well. We did have a moment, didn't we? Yeah. We just yeah. had, there was just one moment on set where we were like, Eric Banner. <laughs> <laughs> and then we <laughs> let it go, walked in professional, yeah, ready, let's shoot. <laughs> oh. Now, you two both play sisters in the film. Uh, were you at all worried that maybe you wouldn't get along? You should, you should tell them about our date. Tell our them about date? our date. Okay, yeah. Yes, we did it. We went on a little date. <laughs> yes. No, <laughs> no, it was great because, like, um, I feel like the second that Cece walked in the room, we both, we instantly locked eyes. We were like, oh, yeah, we did. Here we are. <laughs> Here we are. It's there great. It's a rapport. And, I, I, you know, uh, Rob encouraged us to go and spend time together, which was, um, which was really tough. It was really hard to do that. <laughs> but, yeah, we, we sort of, um, we spent so much time in each other's rooms while yeah, we were filming yeah. as well and I think rehearsing and stuff realising that that sort of helped build our sort of definitely on, on screen and definitely and we so lucky to work with with Cece as well please <laughs> please I'm in awe of you all the time <laughs> but it's cool because like we have obviously there's a lot of different generations in terms of the the cast um so we share a culture and a language in that in our generation you know like and and being being um, like a, a like a light skin or biracial black woman in in the industry growing up in Australia, it's a very certain experience, um, you know, and like being queer and all of this kind of stuff. So we really, once we knew that we were this, it was all best friends from then on. Once you know, recognizes recognizes, I see you, I really see you, and then from there, besties forever, and so <laughs> comfortable like. You're amazing. Just by the way, if I don't say that enough. Oh it definitely shows on screen. And I think one thing that, that comes across uh, is the fact that you obviously would have spent a lot of time together, but the characters themselves are kind of locked in this space where they have to kind of communicate together and they're very tight-knit quarters. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about a little bit was the setting and the actual landscape itself. It felt like it was really hard to film there and it just felt like a tough terrain. Yeah, absolutely. I think... Um... I, I feel like we can't really complain because we weren't carrying. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I go to we... complain and then I'm like, look at that camera right there, how heavy it is. <laughs> they were carrying that on their backs, That's piece it. by piece, through yeah. a rainforest trail. Sometimes I, I feel like it, it was a miracle if we made a take without one of us slipping over. <laughs> and you sort of, you know, we, they'd be like, okay, you're walking down, tra traversing that sort of, that bush and... Um, 
and I would we'd get to the bottom and I'd turn around and I'd just see like our amazing cinematographer Andy Thomas and like the whole team behind like <sighs> knee like up to the knees in mud. But water. People were in the water, like troopers, in the water. Yeah, it was it was actually one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Oh my god. And you had to go impressive. in the water too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a little dip. A it's a it's a classic kind of who done it as well, and I feel like that's refreshing and it's nice to see those come back. Um, in your opinion, what makes the perfect murder mystery? Ooh. <laughs> I I don't like to be spoon fed as an audience member. I like to be able to pick up some of the pieces, mm. read between the lines a little bit. But in saying that, if I'm not given enough, sometimes I'm like I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> so I feel like something that strikes that balance well is usually. Um, what sort of grabs me the most. Um, yeah, definitely. you got to trust that your audience is smart enough to figure it out on their yeah. own. And, and sometimes it can just be exposition, and for me that gets a little bit boring. But, um, definitely. Like but I do mean, the work a little bit. It was so well written. Like, we didn't... And then also, if we had any lines that just weren't what working or this is not really in my character's mouth, it was so... Everyone was encouraging, yeah, let, let's change it. What do you... What do you feel? Rob's always just, again, generosity. What do you feel? What do you need in this moment? How do we make this work for everybody? Amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time. Congrats again on the movie. Thank you and so uh... much. Nature holds us all to account.